Hey, how you doing? My name is Anthony Gray. Welcome to another episode of Grayscale Painting. We're going to deal with a mountain today, I guess. All right. I've done flowers. I've done uh, all sorts of things. So just uh, play around with a mountain today um, just because. All right. Okay. All right. This is uh, 11 by 14 inch watercolor paper. Double, double, uh, um, double uh, glued watercolor paper took some spray adhesive glued both sides together all right so 140 pound weight every for every single one so all right it just prevents it from warping and buckling and all that fun stuff that happens when you put a lot of excess water uh, even on watercolor paper it will buckle a slight bit um, depending on um, what the weight of the paper is all right okie dokie now that we've established that more or less let's do a quick background i'm um, gonna use some vegetable glycerin with it vegetable glycerin does it's prolong the drying time of the paint it helps you blend and, and, and all of that good stuff all right all right so a very little bit goes a long way so i'm gonna pour this put this on here i don't necessarily have to go all the way down to the bottom because it's just the mountain's kind of the main subject, so you know, I'm gonna kind of like I said, I'm not gonna go all the way down to the bottom with it. Glisten also operates according to how room how warm your room is. So my room's pretty toasty at a nice 91 degrees. Alright. Alright, that's about enough of that. What type of sky do I want today? Oh, we'll go from light to on the bottom going dark. So it's pretty typical for this type of thing. Obviously, you're not going to see the white, but I'll put it in here like so. All right. Obviously, you're not going to see it. Let's get a little bit of blue. I'm going to keep I'm not going to clean off the brush. I'm going to get a little thalo blue. I'm going to probably dip a little little bit of black in there. Just a small touch of black in that blue. Just small touch. We'll start from here, right from the top here. I might want a little more black than that. So we're gonna get some black and yeah, slap some of that black in there and make it fairly deep up top here. And as we do that, we just glad, gradually come downward. X strokes if you must. And I suggest maybe that you should. As we do that, as you can see, it's starting to get a little lighter because of the white mixing in there. Okay just like that. Now remember I'm painting in conducive to the um, size of the paper I'm using and it's only 11 by 15 inches. So this two inch flat brush will suffice. Nothing really fancy, just kind of straighten it out. And as it gets a little lighter, you kind of work it in there. I'm gonna lighten up the brush strokes a little bit. Okay, so I just want a gradual tone of it going light to dark. Now it's got white down here, so it's going to be light no matter what. Then I just go back and forth here, straighten some of this out. Glycerin tends to expand as it dries also, so keep that in mind. Now if it's too streaky, go back to your white strokes. You can keep messing with this while it's still somewhat wet. Okay, up to you, really. Now remember it's 90 something degrees, so this glycerin is gonna start to dry quickly. I just wanna get, and glycerin expands your paint while it dries also. So I'll keep that in mind. Okay, something like that will be okay. Look down below, my bad. I should've did this much earlier. Oh, uh, sap green, thalo blue, cad, yellow cad, red, and black, and we got white over here on the corner. All right. All right, um, like I said, I should have uh, explained it in, in, um, in more detail um, in the beginning, but I did not, my bad. Let's take a fan brush. Let's dip into the white, you'll see it here. Just a little bit of white there. I'm gonna dance around a little bit up here, up top, where you see the little spot there. When I, uh, that's my fingerprint when I put the glue on. I'll just kinda do one of these numbers here. I'll just dance it around over here. 
just like that and I'll just kind of play with it up around in here a little bit um, let's kind of float this along up here a little like that so we get some kind of singular cloud thing happening just like that I'll take a small basically it's a makeup brush and what I'll do up here is I'll start to kind of wisp see that I'll wisp some of that I'll just take a tissue here and I'll just kind of wisp some of that just like that kind of push it into the background a little bit down here I can kind of go a little harder just to make it disappear into the clouds a wee bit there just like that just kind of some of this you can twirl away some you might want to have a little brighter it's really up to you as you get accustomed to doing clouds uh, especially on uh, these particular style of clouds the more you can kind of mess with them tease them do you know whatever your heart's desire all right now from that i can build up even more i can take a smaller brush just to kind of build up some highlights if you want it like that i particularly don't care because this is not really the subject it's just to put a little something in there i'm going to um block in the mountain with just straight black i'm just going to block in the mountain this way but i'm going to approach the mountain uh differently today all right so we're going to um do this i'll start here come here and yeah, i'll just kind of curve it out that way and then right from the top here because the top half of the mountain i'll kind of do something like that and i'll just kind of do one of these numbers and then i'll just block the whole thing in with black I know it's a little odd for a shape, uh, shape for a mountain, right? We're going to concentrate on one side and then we'll do the other side. So we're going to just concentrate on this side. No fog or mist today. Let's do a mountain without all of that. All right. And I put the cabin there as a sense of scale. This mountain is absolutely mammoth. It is, it is very, very large. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can um, really check this out. All right, we'll center it, we'll put it right here. Okay, now this is how we're gonna approach this mountain today. We're gonna do layers, all right? Let's look down, let's look down here, the blue out here. Um, and we'll, we'll spread it out, just a little touch of white in there. Spread it right out, a little, a little more white. Touch more white. I'll gradually put the white on there. Okay. And I'm going to scrape in just a, a minute bit of black. It'll gray it out a little bit. I know it's a strange color to be the lit side of the mountain, right? Well, since I base colored the mountain black, okay, we got to get a secondary color in there. All right. Okay. We're going to do this in layers, like I said. We really don't need any uh, glitter or anything for this part. Here, take a little swipe across, it looks like that. You might not see it because of all the blue, but it is there. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to start now. We're going to start from here and we're going to go to the lower left. You follow me? So it'll start right here and you just kind of bring it to its lower left overlap a little bit bring it all the way down just like that and, you, and, and the way we're doing this you just think of the whole thing as as um just make pretend that it's the only mountain you're doing and so that's how we're gonna do our shading here think of it as the only mountain that you're doing all right there's going to be other bits of shading in this too. Don't worry. Come here. We're going to kind of wiggle that up around in there. Let's get a little bit of that off. And let's share some of that love over here. Bring it right in there. Just like that. All right. Just 
just like that just like so all right now that's just one half of the mountain we're we're gonna we're gonna move right along now okay now we already got established that bluish black there we're gonna take a little bit of white in that mix see this we're gonna add another layer the brighter the layer the less of it you need also but this that's just my rule okay remember one side of the mountain this is the lit half of the mountain okay all right <clears throat> a little lighter in color once again you take your knife um yeah we'll do it that way right here we're gonna start establishing peaks go straight down like that just like they come down just like that see that slowly establish the peaks on this far edge come downward down and to the left let it break apart down to the left you can bend it I'll show you you take it and you bend it go that way bend it just like that we'll do a little bit here very light we'll kind of bend it on there right up in here and up in here look at that you're not letting all that black disappear in this all right okay I'm just wiping off my pellet knife here we're going to take a little bit of just pure white it's got a little bit of blue speckled in there in, in pieces, but just, just pure white right now. Now we're going to get direct light hitting this fellow. All right. Nice thin layer of white. And we're going to go now from the edges that we created. All right. And remember, it's still moving. Just like this. Come on down. Break it up. Break it up. And turn it. Break it up. And turn it. Stuff like that. Or you're going to kind of spill it up in there do it in, in the brighter you go the, the less the less strokes needed okay look at this all right and come on over in here add a little bit of that there and i got very thin amount of paint so i can do it in just little little pieces there come out here shake it up go in different little patterns if you would like up to you your amount it's what you see okay we got a little bit of a uh, something happening right here at that edge. All right, we can kind of give it a little, little. I'm getting some more white. I'm just spread it out. Just give it kind of a nice little. Now what's going on is that this white is being taken off by the previous amount of paint that was already put on here. You got me? Okay. Just like that. So I don't need it to really look too fabricated. Let's put a little little something here. Bring it upward like that. That's not the dark half. It's still the lit half of the mountain. We bring bring a few right in here. I don't want it to. Uh, just like that. Come on down here a little bit. Crack some of that up that way. Just like so. Remember. We're making pretend this is the whole part of the mountain. All right, that's what we're just giving the impression of. Okay, now that's one half of that mountain. All right, one half. So keep that in mind, one half of the mountain. All right, okay. We're gonna go back to our black and we're gonna flesh out the rest of this mountain. All right. So hopefully this variety of mountain could help you out and you guys would understand um, how to build one. All right, let's go back to our long handled brush. No medium, no mediums needed. We're using the texture of the paper and the texture of the, of the paint. Same approach. Okay, now you're gonna go to the dark half of the mountain. I'm gonna come from here. Just like that and come on out. 
and we're going to shade this fellow. Obviously, it will be the darker, I can say darker part of the mountain. And I'm just very carefully just going to go on the edge here. And we're going to create the dark half of the mountain. There won't be no fog or anything. It's just one mammoth, huge, mo monstrous mountain here. So if you guys can approach the mountain this way, you may have discovered for yourself a very dynamic way to shade and come up with a gigantic supersized mountain up to you. We're going to bring this mountain down fairly low. Um, did you see where the, well, you don't see where the house is. You might have forgotten that there's a, there's a log cabin down there. But there is one. It's pretty low. It's, pretty, it's down there. I'm covering it up right now. But we're going to put hills or and trees and stuff down here. So. And it's not going to be fogged away or anything. But we're going to put it down there. Okay. You can't see it. But it's, it's right there. So like I said, I'm giving you something for a sense of scale. All right. And this is going to be one heck of a large mountain. There's going to be a lot, of, a lot of mountain here. Let's go back a little bit. We're going we're gonna to cover the rest of that in black. Because we'll build up off of this a little bit later. Now you don't necessarily have to use <coughs> you don't have to use solid black if you don't want to. You can use a mixture that gets you close to black. All right, a little bit of a lizard crimson, phthalo blue, and some uh, umber or um, burnt sienna, and it'll give you a, 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 a very um, um, uh, deep pigment that is close to black but it's not as harsh I'm just doing black because it just cuts on time all right that's good just like so I'm not using any medium for this it's not going to be needed and plus you want you want to use that texture of the uh, of the paper all right here we go shaded part of the mountain okay so we do have the lid half now we're going to deal with a lot of, I guess I can just use, um, I can use this knife, it really doesn't matter which palette knife I use. Um, actually, I found, I found the other one. It's kind of my favorite. This is the one inch palette knife. Okay. You're going to do now, we're going to build it up. Okay. But you're going to go from obviously the top, but you're going to go toward the lower right. But you can build up off of this and I'm gonna show you how but let's just establish right now let's get some blue and some black happening so look down here with me I'm getting some blue I'm getting some black okay now it's gonna be fairly uh, obviously fairly dark and that's okay we're once again we're doing the same thing we did with the, uh, the lid half okay but we're just using Darker colors, same technique, darker color. Follow me. Same technique, darker color. Okay, I spread the paint out. I'm gonna get a nice little swipe across. You guys should somewhat see that, I hope. Okay, put it up here. See the little band. Now, once again, we're gonna work from the top, go down to the lower half. Okay, I'll start with. So we're gonna go from the top right here and spread it out, spread it out like that overlap if you got to keep your your knife as straight as you can all right and a thin thin bits will do you it's the ledge it goes down pretty street pretty steep like that and we're gonna build all sorts of interesting things just from us doing this that little bit of blue can be blue black will be seen trust me come on down here it's the same thing just add that add that color in there very lightly let it go break let it go across and remember you're you're building the steep part of the mountain if you don't quite get it right during this initial part here don't worry you can always come back to it 
all right, don't, don't worry about that. Go straight down. When you start to highlight, I know it's funny saying highlight with a dark half of the mountain, but you'll, you'll understand. But maintain that direction of going downward, down. You can, you can curve it or whatever. Right now, this is just the root color, base color. You're establishing the color. I'm getting some more blue. I'm getting some more black. Get a little bit more black here. It's got to be blue enough. It's got to be light enough where it, where it can be barely seen against that black. But it can. Even on, on um, at this stage, you can still see that blue over that black. Once again, I'm continuing with a roll of color. And we already established that the, come on, I need to add that color in there. You can use a larger palette knife if you would like, because you're basically blocking in, you're blocking in this shadow color. I'm going right over the house with it, believe it or not. Act like the house isn't there. But trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna really appreciate having this darker color under, because it's still, can be seen even though it's dark it's not as dark as that black so it will and it can be seen all right we can establish in the darkness you can establish different planes believe it or not and i'll show you all right you can establish the same thing we did here it's just lighter we're going to do the same thing here it's just going to be darker all right now once again, this engine look down here with me, blue and black. Just mix it in there. Now we're going to start forming things. Okay, I'm going to add just a slight touch of white to that mix. Now we're going to start to see things. Slowly. But you're going you're to start to see things. I'm going to add just a slight touch of more of white there now you're gonna get a bluish gray um, thing ha happening here now remember don't worry and think it's too light remember acrylic paint dries flat dries a little darker than when you put it on there all right so keep that in mind always keep that in mind it dries a little flat all right it's gonna get a little darker when it dries okay all right now we're gonna establish just like we did here we're gonna establish all sorts of crevices and, and, and gaps in the, in the mountain, but you're gonna use the darker colors. You can't get it brighter than this. Okay, we're on the darker half now. So everything back here is going to be darker, even though we're gonna do little highlights and such. All right, let's get another swipe across. Let's start, we'll start midway here and watch. I can just go steep to the low and downward, just like that. You're gonna start seeing it's darker. Okay, and this is the play we're gonna do with this. Go downward, come on down, and then you and you bring it to a slight curve. All right. The 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 further down you go, the steeper it will appear to be. Your knife got to be as flat as possible against, and that's how you get the breaks. Okay. If you have to overlap a little bit, overlap. But see, I can make a play of certain things here. Okay. This is one gigantic mountain. Okay, we'll, we'll slowly inch back up there. You don't need as much, um, you don't need as much paint. I'm just, Mixing, um, um, flattening the paint out, stretching it a little bit. Let me use my opposite hand. And very light, very light, very light, very light. Come on down. Just like that, very lightly. Even on the, on the top here, I'll get a little bit going here on the top. All right. Okay, because we got peaks and, and everything on the opposite side. And I'll show you, you'll see, you'll see. I don't necessarily have to have my knife at that angle. I can still do it like this flat and you can just get some nice curves in there. See this? Curve it right up in there just like that. 
we're going to build all sorts of fun things on that dark half of the mountain. Right here, add a curve here, like that, add a little curve, but everything's still going in this direction. But you, you know, this is a very large mountain, so you've got all the things happening in there. Okay, just like that. Because now you can see the color, you can see the color shift, you see what's going on here, and the, the sun is directly hitting on that one side. Everything else is in shadow. I'm using up the rest of my dark blue. Got a little bit of black in there. I'm just getting more of that dark mix. We're building everything off of this dark, deep mix here. All right, we already got our, our color. Our color is uh, blue. Get a little bit of white. Very little bit of white. Now, it's not gonna turn light blue because of the black, it's gonna turn a weird kind of a gray. But we're gonna get slightly lighter still but you don't want it too um, too bright. Now, for camera's sake and for you guys, I am gonna mix it a little bit brighter than I normally would, just to show you, but it's still gonna be a whole lot lighter than that. Okay, I got quite a bit of it there. All right. Now, this is the highlight part, even though it's dark. We'll call it the highlight. Okay, get a little swipe of this stuff. Actually, let me spread it out real good. It's not spread out enough. Nice, nice. There we go. I'm just wiping off the residual stuff off of my knife. And I'll bring it to you this way you can see it in a nice little roll. Now watch this, watch this. Well, once again, we'll start from here, but watch. We're gonna take this and lightly, because remember, you already got paint established here, so you already got texture. This is just a slight wipe across. It's going to take what it needs and give you the rest, as a certain Ross would say. Come on down, like that. See, now you can guide where you want your, 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 your uh, residual light to, to, to show. Okay. Come on down, bring it down that way. And you really want it to show where the separation is on the cliff side. All right, this is where you kind of want it to, to show, stretch your stuff, so to speak. Just like that, I come over here. All right. We're gonna bring some of this this way. Very lightly, it yeah, just skimming across, very light. Just like that, skimming across, okay. Come further down, make it a nice strong angle if you can. Just like that. Come on down here, bring it down and across like that. All right. We're gonna sh we're gonna show off a little bit. We're gonna take a little bit of extra white. I'm gonna bring it over here. Just a brighter version of that darkness, slightly brighter, slightly. I want you to see. I got it right next to the darker version. See this, there it is. Slightly lighter than this version right there. So you should be able to see that. Now watch this. Even though it's darker half, we're gonna make a play on that. The sun's, the, 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 the sunlight's barely skimming over there on that side, okay? So we're gonna kinda make a play on that. It's like this, look. Just kinda scoop it on down a little bit. Bring it up in there, just like this, a little bit. Have it play in there a little. Select that. Just a little bit, you see? It's kind of sneaking in there a little bit. You can do that up here. It kind of, very lightly, very lightly wiggle your brush around a little bit. See this? See, hey, look at that. We can come here and we can add a little bit of that there. Have it kind of drip around a little bit still nowhere near as light as that. So that's what gives you that reflect, refracted light. All right, my, my English will get to me soon. That's refracted light I'm doing. Pop a little bit there. And a little bit up, up around in this edge, just like that, and kind of bring that around, just like that. There's a little bit here. Can I bring it here, bring it here, go kind of wide there. Okay, just kind of, and guide it a little bit just like that 
I don't want too much of that. Now we're going to go back to our other color. Spread that out. And we'll kind of we'll coast and coat the rest here. Come down. Come on around like that. Just like that. Come over here. Add a little bit of that love there. Right here. See here, you add another of the cliff side. Right in here, add another add another cliff side in there. Just like that. And keep it going in that direction. But look at all that that's going on there. Don't get discouraged. You can do the exact same thing. Yes you can. Don't, don't ever doubt yourself. I'm showing you how to do it. Come on down here with it. If this is one consistently large mountain. Okay. Very large. Get a little slight touch of black in there. Just to gray it out a, a little bit. sense of fun enjoy yourself let the journey be enjoyable remember you're going down into the lower right if you want to go from the bottom up then do it do it upward all right up to you of how much of this you want you want to see all right just like so that cabin is still there. That cabin is somewhere up. Up. Where are you, cabin? Sometimes it's hard for me to spot it. Right in here somewhere. But it's buried. But there'll be greenery here. Okay. The reason why I did no, no fog, no mist or anything like that is because I want a, a giant mountain. And not all the time is buried in mist. Mountains aren't aren't buried in, in fog all the time. Now, let's go back up. Uh, you can see the whole mountain here. And as you see, I only got the, the shine going on one half. Okay. And it's basically all I see. Can I maybe throw some shine probably somewhere up here? Yeah, probably so. I, I more than likely probably can. As a matter of fact, I can probably put a nice light line of something right in this edge here okay if i wanted to bring bring it that way but i don't want to let's pop that guy and keep him right over there can i put some residual glow in here i most certainly can okay i can show you that real fast it's not very difficult to do that all it takes really is a script liner and let it do what it does i'll show you right now let's take a script liner um, paint, no water, no glycerin, no nothing, just white paint. Let's go up here. And we can slightly, oh so slightly, maybe give a broken outline of, see, see, see how the line breaks? It's going to break, just like that. It's going to break a little bit, just like that. You can get some thicker ones in there. It's almost like painting a uh, silver lining. Come up in here, just like that. Just, just a little touch. And let it let it break up because the paint's actually drying as you're doing this so let it break up a little bit so you got slight little touches of light there which makes the mountain look even larger okay you see it up here that dot there that there a little bit there some of it hanging around <laughs> some of it hanging around up there 
I could put little rims of, of light hanging around out here if I wanted to, yeah, but no, I want it kind of mysterious and keep it pretty dark over there in that region. Okay, now we've established a light and dark shade to the mountain. Let's move down here a little bit. Let's put it right here. Okay, now look. We do have buried in here a cabin. Okay. For us to kind of show off that cabin a little bit, we're gonna put some um uh some kind of foliage large deciduous trees in here. No pine trees, we'll just put the deciduous trees around here. Alright. Okay, let's look over here to the pellet. We have no blue. Uh yeah. Let's now I use thalo blue. Let's let's just use um We'll use a little ultramarine blue this time. All right, just a, actually a little more than that, maybe. Just like that. Okay, we don't need any uh, glycerin or anything uh, for this part. It's mostly wet on, on dry. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get a nice little mix here. Um, I'll do it this way. Let's get a little bit of red. Put the red right up in here like that. We get a slight touch of. We get a slight touch of black. I'm gonna slide this paper over a little bit. A slight touch of black in that red, just like that. And we're gonna pop some blue in there. So we got black, blue, and red. Mix it together. Black, blue, red. Now we're getting, a, we're gathering a different type of dark. It, the dark does have red in it. So we got, we're getting essentially maroon with, with a little bit of black. I'm just establishing a deeper color. I'm gonna pop a little more blue in that. And as you mix it with the palette knife, um, I'm mixing it with the palette knife because the palette knife I'm um, just mixing it quite a bit better than the brush you're going to use. It really um, uh, uh, mixes that paint right in there. As you can see, the method that I'm doing, okay, of mixing it, very simple. Now, that's a very deep maroon. Now, imagine how dark this is going to get when it dries. All right, I'll throw this paper away. Get another piece of tissue paper here. Clean off my palette knife. All right, we want very um, tree-like shapes. It all depends on what brush you use. I have very many, 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 many brushes. Okay, I do, I have a lot. I'm just gonna take, this is actually a, um, a, um, a stencil brush. All right, look down here. And I'm gonna just take this stencil brush, I'm gonna go into this dark mix here and just put it right in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna just come down here and I'm just gonna get some interesting tree shapes. And I'm gonna put them up there pretty high. Come, put them up there, come down, go up a little bit like that. But down below, fairly dark, fairly dark. And I'm gonna just pop all those guys up in there. I'm gonna obviously get it lighter, but right now we're just blocking all of this in. And you see how dark it is. All right, little bits of mountain will show, but I wanted to show more toward the top than anything. And I wanna make sure I got that cabin in there. The cabin is in there so good that, there it is. I still see it, I see it there. Okay, I do have, an, I do have it in there. Um, I might have to go a little higher. I'm going to get just the smallest touch of water and loosen up this dark paint. That might be a little too much. We'll see. But I know where the cabin is, so I'm gonna kinda really pop open those trees, get a little texture going there. Right, right up here. Okay. Just that, that's just one more texture. It's just water and paint. Now water with the paint is just gonna dry. You still have your pigment, but it's still gonna dry pretty good. Just like that, all right. 
Uh, let's go with our sap green. We've got sap green here. We're going to go with our ultramarine blue. Sap green, ultramarine blue. Let's mix that. It's uh, like so. Mix that in there. Sap green, ultramarine blue. That's pretty cool. That, that might work for me. I like that. Okay. That, I'm going in to the mix of green all right and we're down here and i get interesting pockets of color around where that blue is i'm going i'm skipping so i can get nice pocket i'm going in different directions i'm getting interesting little pockets of green in there but i'm not getting rid of that total darkness all right i'm getting some more green i'm gonna twist my hand here and there make it pretty airy these trees are going to be of a certain size because you got to still think of scale all right this mountain's absolutely huge and um, I'm gonna show you because our highlighting of these trees have to represent that these trees are are pretty low on the on the mountain if barely you can barely see it but it's definitely there now we're gonna get um, some some highlights on the, the, the foliage here. All right, I'm gonna go into now. I got the green established. I got some now. Yellow is very transparent. All right, I'm gonna get quite a bit of yellow. It's gonna mix with the green, obviously. And I might just want this much at first before I lighten it anymore. All right. And I got plenty uh, on this tiny, 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 tiny little makeup brush. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, now remember that your light source is here. You, you can establish that. But right now, let's get this, this light tap. See this? You're going to get interesting groupings of, of, this, of this paint. And you don't want it to look like little circular, um, little circular tree balls or anything like that. A little tufts of cotton that you don't want but you do want interesting little shapes going around on this now you can actually thin this paint I'm gonna thin it a little bit a thin paint will stick to a, a thick paint thick tacky paint okay because I want more definition in the little just like that see this and these little batches of color it's going to establish that these trees are deciduous trees but they're also quite a ways away and we're going to come on this way just like that now remember it might appear to be really super bright but it's not little, little light taps light 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 taps this is not the final highlight but you don't want uh, it to look like uh, uh, little 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 f tuft balls there all right so very gradual very gradual this is wet on drive so keep that in mind you want these guys at various heights okay just like so come on down pop some this way I'm gonna bring some down here a little bit. Come across a little. And bring some down here, around here. Go right off the panel, right off the page with it. Just like so. As you can see, as I'm doing this, and you see it drying, it's drying flat, drying pretty dark. You don't need too much. All right, okay, let's go into a little bit of white with the same color, lighten it up. I'm gonna get a little bit of water to thin this paint. Remember a thin paint sticks to a, 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 a thick tack, tacker paint. Now, on this stage, you might have to be a little careful and, 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 and kind of tap some of that paint off of the, off on the tissue a little bit, just a little bit. You come up here, now remember your light is on the right hand side, so you're gonna aim this light this aim a little bit of that on the right hand side a little 
come down here and aim some of that love here. Interesting groupings, interesting groupings like that. All right. Put some over here, just like so. Come down here a little bit there, a little bit here, there, like that. Okay. I don't have to put them all over the place. Uh, maybe mid-level, maybe around in here a little bit. Come on here. And look at what you're doing. Stop for a little bit and study it. Of course, there's going to be a little bit of something grabbing up top where the higher trees are. Maybe some residual stuff in here. Don't 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 drag your your brush. All right. And maybe some some stuff here. I don't need too much really. And probably a couple of little residual pieces up there. Like that. Not too much. I'll give it a slight a stronger uh stronger push of color right up in there. Like that. And you're just really establishing, you know, some tree height, if anything. That cabin will establish the size of these trees. Okay. All right. Cabin. Found it. Good Lord, that was horrible. That was horrible. Anyway, I found it. Okay, well, there's the cabin. Okay, the cabin obviously should have been lower in the trees, but it's not, it's right here and it's okay. Let's take a tiny little brush and we'll kind of give it a little bit. Let's get a little bit of green. Let's get a little touch of red, red and green. We'll brown it out here. No big deal. A little touch of white, small touch of white. Very small. We'll turn it kind of browny gray here. But Mr. Cabin is right here. I'm gonna get a little bit of water, thin that up. So I can get into these little closer edges there. We'll even kinda, a lot of this paint is dry. So I can kinda skate across, right, just like that. But that cabin is in there. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna take a little touch of black, small touch if I can get it. We'll put a little little shade right in there. Believe it or not, a little, little touch of black is all I need. I don't have to go too crazy with it, just like that. And I can kind of darken up the other half. Just like that, just kind of put a little bit of something down in there. But you know that the cabin does exist there. Something like that. All right, but it is in there as you can see. I'm gonna shade some of this roof a little, a little darker too. Just like that. But the cabin is there. If I wanted to, just, just to be a little coy, and I mean just a little coy, I'll take some white, put a little bit of that brown in there. Just giving a little slight rim to the to the fella in there, but that's it. Just for a sense of scale of where that cabin is. Okay, but you can see it. It's right there. Um, I got a little bit of white. You don't necessarily have to do what I'm about to do. You don't have to do this, but uh, a little bit of. Just a tad of white, got a lot of water compared to the white. 
and we'll get a little bit of smoke in there just like this just like that it's scumbling a little 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 smoke there keep it around in here just like that it's a little Let's pull back. All right. Uh, we'll kind of do it this way. Okay. Let's peel off the tape. Um, nope, nope, nope. Almost forgot the most important part of the painting. signature right so we'll put the signature right in there um this white paint I got is like chalk paint so you have to use plenty of water just to get liquefied a little bit all right very tiny um script liner brush here rigor brush or what do you want to call it there we go I think that's about all I need for that. You guys don't need to see that. I popped the focus on real good here. You guys can kind of check it out. All right. Remember, I used to kind of throw a frame on this, on these. So let's see what it looks like. We'll draw back a little bit. Let's see what it looks like with a black frame. We'll kind of center it pretty good here. And with a black frame, kind of looks like that. Remember to do this. Show you what it looks like all framed up. Okay. All right. That's one down. Let's try with the uh, brown frame. Brown frame might show it off a little better. But anyway, that's the brown frame. So that's what it would look like with the brown frame on there. All right. You can have the you can have the signature shown or not. But that's what she would look like with the brown frame. So really your preference. Now we can call this over. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope it educated you. I hope you learned something from it. I would love to see your rendition. You pop it right on my uh, Facebook page. And uh, I shall see you when I see you. Until next time, guys.